Hey guys, this is M. Kara, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to review the new BTS album, Map of the Soul 7. Okay, so first I'm going to start with my favorite song. So I'd say my favorite song, like the song I keep going back to and listening over and over, would be My Time by Jungkook from BTS. And I just really like that song because I feel like I can relate to it. Like how he's basically saying he's been through a lot, like at a young age, and... I think in a way he kind of seems to be feeling like a little FOMO. FOMO is fear of missing out. So like when you feel like you've missed out on something that a lot of other people around you have done. And like I feel like I can relate to that because like I didn't necessarily have a typical high school experience growing up. You know what I mean? Like I don't mean that in a like, oh I'm not like other girls. Like here, I'll explain it. I don't want to take too long. But yeah, so like in high school... My dad was really sick. He had like an autoimmune disease. I mentioned in another video how I had a family member die from scleroderma, which is a rare autoimmune disease. Yeah, that person was my dad. So yeah, my dad was like really sick pretty much all throughout high school. So like I helped take care of him and all of that. And I also had a few other family members who were sick as well. And sadly, he died after my 18th birthday. So yeah, he was pretty much sick all throughout high school for me. And then he died after my 18th birthday. And then I had a few other family members die as well. So, yeah, I feel like my high school wasn't, like, the typical experience because, like, I had family members who were, like, deathly ill and I was, like, helping take care of them, like, making sure oxygen machines were working, helping, you know, with the feeding tube, making sure they were comfortable in their bed, you know, adjusting, you know, their body and, like, making sure they you know, were able to go to the bathroom, like, using bedpans and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't feel like that's a typical, you know, teen experience. I mean, so far in my life, I haven't met anyone who was going through that kind of stuff, like, as a teen. You know what I mean? Like, I've met people who've, like, lost their parents, but it was when they were older, not, like, when they were in high school, per se. So, yeah, I mean, obviously my experience is a lot more different than Jungkook because... He was basically training to be an idol and then became an idol and is now part of, you know, one of the biggest groups in the world. So I'd say his experience is definitely a lot different than mine. But I can relate to, like, not being able to be part of things that other people are part of since, you know, in high school I didn't really go out a lot. I didn't really go to parties or anything like that. Most weekends I was at home, like, taking care of my dad and stuff. So I, I definitely missed out on, like, a lot of social stuff in high school. You know what I mean? So I'd say that's why I like that song, because I feel like I can relate to it the most. And I just really, I just really like it, and I like the message. And how at first he's kind of saying, like, I can't do it, I can't do it, it's too much. But then at the end, he's kind of saying, like, I'm going to do it. You know, so that's why I like it, because at first he's kind of, you can tell, he's kind of, like, frustrated and discouraged, and he feels like it's too much, I can't do it. But then toward the end of the song, I feel like he's saying, you know, this is tough, but I'm not going to give up, I'm going to keep going. So I feel like I can relate to that, like wanting to give up but not giving up because you don't want, I guess, to lose and you don't want, I guess, like the negativity, the shadow, so to speak, to kind of like overtake the good in your life or whatever. So I'd say that's my favorite song. All right. And then like the album as a whole. So I think the album as a whole, it's like really good. Like... I think it's like a really consistent album if it makes sense like I feel like all the songs have like a good story and message and it like flows well I don't feel like it's one of those albums where it's like all over the place and you're like okay what are you going for you know how some albums are like that where they just have all these random songs and you're like what is this supposed to be what is this supposed to mean this album isn't like that I feel like it has like a pretty like consistent story and like the order of the songs is good and like just I feel like their messages are, like, pretty clear. I don't think the messages are, like, too hard to grasp. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I'd say I really like that about the album. And then they also have, like, really cool versions of the album. So, I got version 3 of the album. Here, I'll show it to you. So, this is the version I got. Version 3. And my photo card is the... I got a V photo card. 
So yeah, I really like the album version I got because it's the one where they're basically all like sitting at the table with all the food and everything. So yeah, I really like the pictures. It, it makes me think of like the Jai and Isis song that they have. I feel like that photo shoot was definitely inspired by like Jai and Isis. But it also makes me think of like the Great Gatsby too because the style that they have, like their outfits and stuff kind of reminds me of that like Gatsby time with like the drinking and you know, just like the attitude they kind of have in the pictures. It kind of makes me think of that, you know, like let's drink, let's party, let's have fun. So yeah, I really, I really like the version I got, like the photos and everything. And yeah, I'd say this is like honestly one of the best albums I've ever heard. And I think this might be one of the best albums they've ever done. Yeah, and I'm really excited. Like I can't wait because I'm going to their tour this year. So I'm going to see BTS in Atlanta. So like I'm really looking forward to like what the stages for these songs will be like. I'm just so excited. Like it's going to be so awesome. And then, like, my other favorite song is Ugh, you know, U-G-H, Ugh. So, that, yeah, I just love, like, how aggressive that song is. Like, that song's definitely, like, on my workout playlist now. Because, like, when I first heard that song, I was like, I want to just, like, go to the gym and do, like, a hardcore workout. Yeah, that song is, like, so tough and aggressive and fast. Like, I definitely think that song's going to be, like, on a lot of people's workout playlist now. So, yeah, I really like that song because of, you know, like, how kind of, like aggressive and edgy it is how they just really they just it's one of those songs where they just really like put all their emotion into it like they didn't hold back you know and I love when artists just go for it and they don't hold back and like that's one of the reasons I love BTS so much because it's like they say what they want to say and they're not just trying to be like I'm great I'm awesome yeah like they're honest like they'll say like no like I am going through stuff and I am struggling and whatever so I think that's, like, why so many people love them, because they're not always just giving, like, you know, kind of super rehearsed answers and stuff, like, when they talk. They're not just, like, everything's super. How are you? Like, no, they'll actually say, you know, like, eh, like, they'll actually say, you know, oh, last year, maybe I was, you know, going through a hard time or whatever. You know, like, well, you know what I mean? Like, they're not so, like, cookie cutter in a way, I feel like, when it comes to, like, when they do interviews, like... I mean, obviously, I think they rehearse a little bit, especially when they come to America because they want their English to sound good. But still, like, it doesn't feel, like, forced when they talk. It doesn't feel like they're being forced to say things. I feel like they're just kind of naturally speaking, you know? So, I feel like, yeah, this album is just, it's amazing. Like, I look forward to what their next album will be like and what the next seven years with BTS will be like. I'm just, I'm looking forward to it. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for whatever they have next, you know? So I just, I feel proud of them and I feel proud of the ARMY for everything they've been doing with like the streaming and everything. And I just want to say like, good job guys. Keep it up and congrats BTS. You did it. You have an amazing album and I hope you guys are proud of yourselves. And I hope you guys realize, like, what a difference you make in all your fans' lives and what a difference. And I hope you know that you've made a difference in my life. I promise you guys, and goodbye!